So now 11AX solves a lot of these issues with contention and dealing with more devices, doing lots and lots more packets, small packets and large packets. So what's holding back 11AX? Is there something else that, that can be done? Well, I, I mean, we've, we've upgraded the protocol, but we've not upgraded the physical media that it shares. I mean, we're, we're, we're still sharing that same media with that old stuff that, as you said, hey, we don't like to throw anything away. If it works, we keep it. Uh, we we, we, we want to we squeeze every bit of little bit of life that we can get out of that. Well, well now, now we're still left with, okay, got a great protocol, but the media is still not quite up to what we need. Well, thus Wi-Fi 6E, right? We create a whole green field of frequencies that are totally untapped and unused generally at, at for the wi-fi level so th th this is kind of you know you know hyperdrive for this new protocol of being able to be fully utilized to provide that 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 uh that high efficiency uh less contention network okay so you bring up a new frequency so 11 ax in that in that new frequency before we talk about that it it, it that actually answer actually leads into another question we should we should probably take a, a side trip and discuss a little bit. Why why should we even be talking about Wi-Fi at all? Um, I, I, you can't watch uh, you can't watch TV in, in any prime time slot these days without seeing three or four 5G commercials. Uh, all the carriers are advertising 5G. They're pushing it. Uh, it. It looks like it solves every problem since the beginning of mankind. Um, why not 5G? Why doesn't that just re just take over? Just replace Wi-Fi completely? Oh, why doesn't it? I, I mean, you, you've got a, a very large spectrum that 5G covers, right? All the way down to, you know, the, the megahertz, all the way up to, you know, uh, gigahertz in the sense of, you know, 28, even up to possibly 30 gigahertz, depending on what country you're in. There's a very large range and a lot of different radios that are that are being utilized there to provide this capability. Well, okay, so we, you know, you start looking at, you know, the lower end, you know, it doesn't really get us, you know, much throughput, right? Not like what we're going to get out of the AX standard. A higher end will get us that throughput, but it doesn't really get the penetration and, and you know, go through items like, or, or obstacles like, you know, six gig, five, five gig uh, frequencies do. So so it's, it's kind of limited in that spec that, you know, you're not really going to be able to run you know, a 5G network in your home or sometimes even in your business in the sense that it's not going to, it's not going to have that same penetration or the same uh, capability. Um, as well as the fact that now you start talking about a, a very specific chipset, uh, you know, radio, you know, devices designed for uh, multiple radio, radio use, uh, you know, fractal antennas, you know, really expensive, right? Whereas, you know, the Wi-Fi 6E available chipsets, uh, the antenna design is a little bit more simpler than uh, than what we would do in a 5G situation. So, you know, 5G, yes, it's it's, it's great. It, we, we needed that technology. There's a lot of things in 5G, the ability to, for vehicles to talk to vehicles, uh, the ability to now have something that's uh, provide streaming to the home over wireless, you know, um, you know, not necessarily looking for cables or fiber or, or, uh, you know, some kind of copper conductor. So, I mean, there's a lot of things that 5G helps with, but in the end, in the enterprise level, it, it doesn't really solve the problem that we have where the ability for people to bring in their current devices and be able to use, as well as bring in their newer devices with this new band you know, the 6E, the, the new Uni 5, uh, 6, 7, and 8. You, you know, it's, 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 you know, as far as the antenna design goes, now I'm, I'm only going across to, you know, a 2, 4 band and a 5 and a 6 gig band. Okay, so, so I mean. So, yeah, so let me, let me ask you, though, let me just, just keep throwing this at you because um, you know, I've heard a lot about, um, you know, open 5G and, and private LTE. Um, so I understand what you're saying because the carriers, you know, the main, the main carriers, they control a lot of that frequency, that upper band right, right. frequency, mid band frequencies, and I have to use whatever they have, right? I don't get a choice, but what if I wanted to do my own? If I'm an enterprise and I want to build my own private network using 5G or LTE standards, why, why can't I do that? 
and replace Wi-Fi. I, I mean, you could, but then you've got, you're going to have to have some kind of uh, security method. Usually we do this with SIM cards, right? Uh, that's what's in your cell phone. So that's not gonna, that's not really going to change. So we're not going to we're not going to do security similar to what we do in the Wi-Fi arena, 802.1x, with you know a radius uh, type server or certificate types capability. So you know now now we've got a specific card we got to put it in a device and track. Um, you know, the packet core itself is is uh, well, it's very um, what's the word I'm looking modular. That also modular mod, that modularity uh, capability requires expense, so it's not necessarily something I'm going to bolt on to my current wired network. I, I'm going to this is going to be a separate network I run on top of wired running my wired network. Whereas you know in, in the Wi-Fi arena, I, I'm I'm just plugging it in basically to a switch port, getting PoE, and I'm up and going. I, I don't really have that additional network interface to have to deal with. Okay. You know, and then, great, great, keep going. I was going to say, and, and on top of that, you know, some of the uh, manufacturers that have provided your own private, uh, you know, LTE slash 5G, um, you know, they they provided some cloud uh, control. But so now you're going to have a recurring expense that you wouldn't necessarily have in a in a in a Wi-Fi, right? Because I plug mm -hmm. it in, you know, maybe I have my my service requirements, you know, that I'm, I'm a maintenance that I'm paying for, but not for use. I'm not paying for use. Whereas in the 5G, I am going to be paying for use. Okay. Okay. So I think it gets back to where we started this conversation to begin with, which is what problem are we trying to solve? And, and what, what technology, because at the end of the day, 5G, LTE, Wi-Fi, these are radio frequencies, right? These are electromagnetic spectrum frequencies. Um, but implemented a completely different way uh, to solve problems. So what problem are we really trying to solve? I guess it, it comes back to that. And that's what we'd recommend people do it is always ask that question. Uh, when it comes to technology, what problems do you have and what problems are you trying to solve and, and see if uh, pick the best technology to do that. So as we wrap, wrap that up, let, let's go ahead and answer that question. Why not 5G from the, from the point of perspective of what problem are we trying to solve and why is is wi-fi why is wi-fi here to stay i mean i mean you're, you're you're trying to solve a connectivity problem right whether it be that i want roving clients or i i all right all right don't want to put the expense in of of putting four drops per pylon you know in an office space um you know may, maybe it's not as utilized uh, as it was before or maybe it would be utilized uh you know i want the ability to support you know, you know, a VoIP system, uh, you know, 5G would say, hey, well, you know, we, we do phones, we do mobile, you, you have your cell phone, right? Well, yes, but whenever I do 5G, I'm I'm bolting on something, right? Whenever I do a Wi-Fi upgrade, I'm adding on to something. It's not, it, there's there's not a, it, it, I'm still working with what I used to have compared to, and then adding on to what I have to in, add the capabilities. Whereas in a 5G network, I'm, I'm just bringing up a whole new network mm, that I now have to manage point. and maintain to that's provide good, that connectivity. That's a good point. That's a good point. And, and the 5G standards really were designed from the, from, the, from the outside, from the carrier network to give the range and the performance for those outdoor networks. And whereas, in contrast, Wi-Fi started, the, the name is WLAN, right? Wireless Local Area Network, WLAN. That's where it started, and and that's where it still it still lives and exists is in the wireless local area network, and ultimately that's um, that's where Wi-Fi is going to still be, and that's why it's still here and going to continue to be here is because you're still having access to your local content, it's your local data, you apply your local company security policies to Wi-Fi to this WLAN, it's everything you you continue to do and you have been doing for the last five, ten, fifteen, twenty years. It's just that with new Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 6E, things get faster, less contention, higher density, uh, better utilization of the, of the electromagnetic spectrum, uh, and so just faster overall better performance, continue, but still maintaining that simple wireless local area network concept. 